good afternoon friends um, yesterday there was an update for fox sound rom for galaxy s3 international galaxy s3 it's now 1.5.1 as you know i've loaded the video for 1.5 and i've told what i don't like about it it was really choppy it was fast but it was not fluid like iphone-esque or the jelly bean roms of super nexus or liquid smooth so i just thought i'll try it out 1.5.1 to notice what are the major changes and it is really re it is really really a big change compared to 1.5 anyway i will be showing you how to install it installation is easy when you install a rom for the first time you have to go to three steps one is in wipe data factory reset wipe cache partition then advance and go to wipe dalvin cache in this one you don't have to do the wipe data factory reset as you are updating the same rom you just have to wipe cache, uh, cache partition and go to advance uh, go and wipe Dalvin catch up and then install it from the zip card so it's pretty easy just these two steps and then you have to reboot the system and as you can see this one it makes you feel that you are still in Samsung Fox sound is just based on the Samsung leaked version Jelly Bean you can see Samsung uh, this time I've done a few changes I've installed Nova launcher instead of a Halo launcher and this thing is really smooth really really smooth I do miss the jelly bean lock screen where you can swipe across uh, three direction one go to straight to google now one go to camera and one unlock the phone you can see the ripple effect and you can see the four customizable uh, direct lock access programs over here you just swipe across the camera oh, sorry copy from the HTC Sense 3.0 you can directly swipe the phone goes to the dialer okay now let me just go into the phone okay the major changes in this if you notice uh, you can see the smoothness is really really smooth this is the effect of maybe normal launcher or maybe this ROM is really smooth and you can see I'm just uh, he's noticed uh, he's put the changes which he's put for this ROM this is a ROM anyhow Hats off to this developer. Uh, into the this is what he said. Enable call during camera. I don't know how it works because I haven't been using it. You can see this is the site for it. Fox Sound ROM. As I've told you before, it is called Barista ROM before. That's how you install it for upgrade without wipe data. Um, okay. Oh, it's not there, the change log. But I can tell you, it's definitely much more smoother than before. I'm not getting force crashes. The previous time I got a lot of force crashes. Uh, in the sense, when I click on a program, any program for the first time, it'll, the phone will shake two times and it will say that uh, the program has been stopped and then only log in. But now I'm not getting that anyway. And you can see it's really smooth. Uh, it's really really smooth though I do get force crashes before you can say out of every uh, second attempt it used to crash and now it's very, uh, fast uh, maybe out of 10 attempts two attempts will crash but the w still I have one complaint against this ROM is that my phone has not been detected by my Mac I don't know why the other two ROMs detected perfectly but this phone doesn't detect it yet no Android device found whether I'm doing something wrong or whether this ROM doesn't allow it I don't like Kais I used to just directly plug my phone into the system but I don't know maybe there might be a walk around it I don't know how it is and if you go to the app drawer you can see there are 4 pages of this much uh, this is this ROM is around 100 MB because around 888 MB and you get a few extra things play movies I don't know why that's given you still have the video hub it doesn't work here it doesn't work in UAE at least the video hub and the play movies and I just noticed something if you go to settings you can download on uh, settings go to settings you go to fox sound extra and where is that where did I see that you go to fox sound OTA you can actually make few changes to it so I just download, go to ROM, you can download removal board to a .zip. I'm going to go do that and then you can see a difference. Uh, 
CWM okay reboot and recovery reboot I'm just going to remove a few Samsung bloatwares that they didn't remove directly that you can remove the SOIs next check install zip sorry wrong button install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card I've already installed it I can show it to you Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's a problem if you cannot, your phone doesn't detect it. Yeah, here's it. Remove all, yeah, remove all load zip, install it, and you can see install from SD card complete. So now I'll go back and reboot my system. And now, you, if you see my phone, many a Samsung load bar has been removed. Already they have removed a lot, but uh, somehow he's kept SOIs. I don't know what's the purpose of having SOIs when Google now is there. Though SOIs does many things that Google Voice doesn't do. S uh, SOIs you can update your Twitter, send SMSs, um, do emails, do your Facebook, all from it. While Google now is better for voice, uh, I mean, for getting the weather, locations and all. Okay, now if you go, you can notice a big difference, you can see. There was in the earlier when in the earlier before I ran that there was around in the fourth page there were around eight to nine apps all of them have been removed. So you can see it's very smooth ROM now. I'll definitely recommend it to people. Though I will say you should uh, maybe reduce the size of it further. It's 888 MB while Samsung only gives 700 MB and the other two ROMs which I ran the Liquid Smooth ROM and the Super Nexus ROM were just 95 and 125 MB respectively. And as you say it's as you can see, it's a great ROM. Uh, the advantage of this ROM, as I've told before, you get FM radio, you get the standard camera, you get the beautiful uh, video player of Samsung. And like I said, the worst parts of the, uh, it's not pure jelly bean. You don't get that experience, and it doesn't get detected in your Mac at least. It works fine in my Windows. Uh, I can simply drag the stuff in my Mac. I don't know what you can do. But I'm still trying to see if I can do a workaround. Till then, I hope you like this video and you can enjoy the rest. Till then, bye bye.